I'm Chandra Muzaffar from Malaysia, President of the International Movement for a Just World. I would like to begin by congratulating the Schiller Institute on its anniversary co conference. I'm told that this is the 30th anniversary conference of the Schiller Institute. And I'm glad that you're looking at a very important issue the question of uh, BRICS, the Silk Route, about the transformation that is taking place and about the crisis of um, the empire. We have come to a point in our history where these two stark realities challenge us to make choices and to commit ourselves to either the road that takes us to peace, prosperity, justice, and human dignity, or the road which takes us down the path of violence, war, injustice, and perhaps the destruction of human civilization. We have chosen the path that leads to justice and human dignity. And that's the path of development, solid, tangible economic development, which would lead to social justice. It is a path which would enhance the capacity, the productive capacity of the human being to transform his or her environment, to bring about changes which will allow his generation or her generation and future generations to live in an environment which does justice to our species. I'm talking here about the path offered by the emergence of BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa as a grouping, which will have a very big impact upon human civilization. But we'll have to make it happen. It is an idea whose time has come. It is there, hearkening to us, beckoning to us, to make a commitment. And our commitment should be to make BRICS succeed. The success of BRICS means the success of genuine economic development. It means the success of infrastructure transformation. It means linkages. It means establishing connections between peoples and nations, which would lead to a situation where we as human beings would be able to live with dignity. This is the choice before us. Or we continue this path of hegemony, of economic dominance, of um, cultural control, a path which has led to the misery, the sufferings which we have witnessed for so many decades. And it's getting worse. We cannot allow this to continue. We cannot allow the situation to continue because it may eventually lead to the death and destruction of human civilization itself. We have witnessed so many wars. So many millions of people have been slaughtered in these wars and in some of the pipe products of these wars. We are in a situation where economic development has been thwarted and stymied by war, violence, and destruction. We're in a situation where we have epidemics breaking out, sometimes without any logical reason. We have um, natural calamities, which we have not been able to handle well. We have other disasters uh, created by human beings themselves, apart from the war and destruction that we have uh, witnessed for so long. And we have to ask ourselves whether we'd want this to be the burden of uh, 
future generations of unborn children of um, the generations which had hoped to inherit an earth where they would be able to live in peace and prosperity. We would be betraying their dreams. We would be vanquishing the hopes of millions and millions of people. This is the choice before us and we have to choose. We cannot postpone the day. We cannot allow unborn generations to condemn us for our failure to act at this critical moment in time. We have to choose and we have to choose wisely. And choosing wisely means taking the side of life as against death. That's the choice before us. Thank you and all the best to your conference.